looking live inside the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena here for Six Nations Lacrosse on Rogers TV. And as you can see, we are already underway. They don't mess around here at the ILA. They make sure if it's an eight o'clock start time, it is indeed eight o'clock on the button. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. It is the Six Nations Chiefs against the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. And we'll get into some of the storylines throughout this uh, throughout this game. There are a few to keep in mind, notably how thin the Six Nations Chiefs are without many of their top scorers here this evening as the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club moves the ball around. Here's Byrne trying to move in on Dougie Jamison starting in net for the Chiefs. Opposite Nick Damood for the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Of course, Brooklyn wearing those whites. The Six Nations Chiefs, of course, wearing their home teal jerseys here this evening. This is going to be a real test. Uh, like you said, this is going to be a litmus test for the, the, the Six Nations Chiefs this week with tonight's game against Brooklyn, who's riding a hot streak right now at 2-2. Two and two. And then, uh, of course, Thursday night, they're going to be in the borough playing the Peterborough Lakers, the defending champions. As the shot clock expires there, as a couple of the Chiefs move the ball around, they just couldn't get a clean shot on net. And... Yeah, we'll go through some of the substitutions in a little bit, but just to kind of give you an idea right now, the top six scorers for the Six Nations Chiefs are not in the lineup, <laughs> many of whom are in San Diego, California for the World Lacrosse Men's Championships. You got that right, Mark. Uh, we've got Austin Stotts, Lyle Thompson, Brendan Bomberry, Randy Stotts, Larson Sundown, Jerry Stotts on D, and of course Warren Hill and Nett, all in San Diego right now at the uh, World Lacrosse Championships for the Haudenosaunee Nationals. Uh, they get underway. I tournament starts tomorrow. Oh, there's a nice save by Demood, but they get underway. The tournament gets underway tomorrow. Canada USA, I believe, is the lone game on tap, and the Haudenosaunee Nationals get things going, I believe, on Friday night. So nothing like taking in some sun, that is for sure. In California, been looking at the Instagram, and they've been enjoying the beach, a uh, little relaxation along with the hard work there. Byrne moves it up top, tried to get it in. But getting knocked down there was number, I believe that was number six, Luke Pilcher. But the Chiefs move the ball up. Brian Cole, number 55, has the ball, trying to get to the top. Good pass over, but just couldn't connect cleanly with Dave Brock, number 22. And Dave Brock playing his first game in his return to a Chiefs uniform, his first game of the season, his first game in a couple of years after being traded to the uh, Coburg Kodiaks a couple of years ago and he uh, retired a little bit, came back, played with the Halifax Thunderbirds. He was a coach last season, I believe, and got, came out of retirement to play on D and was fantastic all uh, this NLL season and he's looking in great shape tonight. Good save there by Dougie Jamison on Trent Boyd who just basically threw it right into the <laughs> midsection. And there's Jackson. Just talking about Brock. It's weird seeing him in number 22. He's wearing number 22. He's got the name played on, so it looks like that's going to be his number this season. He's usually 13. There's a shot. That's Ben McIntosh. Yeah, ben, He's ben got Ma a new number. Yeah, Ben McIntosh, usually wearing number 19. It was actually on all of our sheets wearing number 19, but apparently number 90 is the way to go for him tonight. Yeah, it looks like they've got the nameplates on and everything's permanent now. So looks like this is uh, this is gonna be it for the long haul. Burn number 32 moves it over for Pilcher. Tried to get it in deep for Boyden who gets slammed into the backboards. There's a shot by Burn, stopped by Jamison. Ball is knocked loose and the whistle goes and it will be Brooklyn ball. Man, Brooklyn, one of those teams, they, they, they've been fantastic so far. I know they're two and two, but every game's been a fantastic one. And, and of course, they, they're taking, uh, taking the Chiefs to overtime. Yeah, the only blemish on the Chiefs record, courtesy of the Brooklyn Lacrosse yeah. Club, 11-10 back on May 31st as they get a shot away. Demood with the save down low. They've got a great team. They're super young. Super hungry, you know what I mean, Mark? It's uh, it's just one of those things that 
uh, again talking about the parity in MSL and uh, doesn't matter it, it, people talk about loading teams up and stuff all these teams are loaded potatoes let's face it lots of bacon lots of sour cream on all these teams that's for sure don't forget the chives as they move the <laughs> ball over here's Scanlon moves it to the far side Trying to twist in was McIntosh. Good move there. Shot. Another save by Demood. Moving the stick side in the way. Trying to get in on number 52, Kellen LeClaire. Just missed on that opportunity. Burn with it again here for Brooklyn. Moves it over to number 26. Or number 25 on our scorecards here, Zach Kerrigan. And they'll move the ball up here again. Holding on to it with a bit of pressure is Brad Cree. Cree trying to get it over to Dalton Silver. Dalton's first game of the season as well. Bunch of players there converging in behind the net. 12 seconds left on the shot clock, and the whistle's going to go here. Of course, Dalton you know, was with the Buffalo Bandits, so he was celebrating. And now that his NLL season's done, finished celebrating they, they painted the town orange in Buffalo the last week or so in celebration yes they did <laughs> much like the Vegas uh, celebration of the Stanley Cup <laughs> oh that was that was phenomenal I don't know our Dean Smith Dean Smith the former uh, chief he, uh, he he was having a good time it looked like that's for sure that'll move into the corner picked up as the shot clock expires and the Visitors have to retreat as Biles moves it ahead. Here's LeClaire. Sam LeClaire with some room. Had the ball knocked loose. He gets knocked down for his efforts. A couple of physical checks there by Scanlon on his man. Sam LeClaire picks it up, passes it over. Good ball retrieval there by the Chiefs as they set up here in the offensive zone. This is Jackson. And behind the goal, back to Jackson. He couldn't get the full shot away. And here comes Brooklyn the other way now. Bouncing ball. Intercepted here by Kellen LeClaire. And now the Chiefs intercept and move it the other way. Brock fakes the pass, leaves it there now. Eric Fennell. Surprisingly, doesn't have a goal to his credit here this season. Uh, you were asking, we were talking before the game what we were going to talk about pregame, but of course uh, that got cut very shortly as it looks like uh, we're going to have a slashing penalty there. Yes, indeed. Uh, Rocky is going to go the backs. So you know what? I am going to ask you a question. We have Might a little well. bit of a lull here with so many players out of the lineup. Who is or are the players for the Chiefs that need to step up in this contest? Quite honestly, we were just talking about Eric Fennell. He's one of those guys he can put the ball in the net. He's very dynamic. And, and of course, when you there's an embarrassment of riches up front for the Chiefs, and sometimes some guys get a little bit shadowed by others. And, and Eric Fennell, he, he plays a role on this team, but with the, those players that are in San Diego right now, it's his time to shine. So Eric Fennell, for sure, offensively, him as well as Ben McIntosh. That's why they brought Ben McIntosh in. He was a depth guy, you know what I mean? He, uh, he He's a guy that can also put that ball in. He's a good setup man. So, yeah, uh, th those are uh, those are two guys in particular up front. And, again, we've got uh, Lane Smith wearing number 37. He's the only AP, I believe, in the lineup today. I believe so, yeah, yes. And, 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 again, he's one of those guys. He's going to step up in this game because – he, he's been riding hot in the Ontario Series lacrosse. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Good shot gotten away there by Ben McIntosh, but nope. another save by DeMood. And that's the kind of look that Ben McIntosh needs. He needs to cut in, get out, get free, get that open shot, just like that. But uh, Lane Smith, he's one of those guys that he, he's been tearing it up in OSL all summer long so far for the, uh, the Rivermen. Burn leaves it back. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Downstairs, he scores. And Brooklyn opens up the scoring here. It's Luke Pilcher getting on the board. That's a heck of a quick stick there by the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club there. That was just a fantastic setup. And again, we talked about it last week, getting Dougie Jameson going left to right on that one. And there's nothing you can do when you've got nice quick movement like this. And look at when he released that. 
not a lot of goalies can get from side to side that quickly. And that's just a great, great quick stick by Pilcher. From retrieval to in the back of the net in less than a second, very quick off the stick. Pilcher's third of the season. So Brooklyn leads it here, one to nothing, just over 11 minutes to go here in the first period. Here at the ILA on a Tuesday night, glad you can join us here on Rogers TV, as well as your TV out in the visitors area. Here's Byrne. Passed it up. There's a shot by Byrne down low and Dougie Jamison makes the save and the Chiefs are able to move ahead. Mason Kaminga, number 96, holding on to it here. Gets it over. As the Chiefs look to try and even the game here. And quite honestly, Mark, this is a great opportunity for a lot of players right now. And, and again, uh, Dwayne Jacobs, president and GM of the Chiefs, he did a really good job with the scheduling. They, they, honestly, they've uh, with the with the seven missing uh, in San Diego, I think they're only going to miss the two games today and uh, Thursday. So really great job of scheduling, and you know what I mean. I think he knew ahead of time what he was up against, so he, he made that schedule. But for these game, these two games this week, these are important games for a lot of the players on the Chiefs team, uh, especially come stretch drive. They want they don't want to be a healthy scratch. No, they do not. You want to make a run to the Man Cup. You you want to be one of the one of the players on the floor making a difference. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Great physicality shown by the Chiefs there as they pick up the ball and move ahead. Kellen LeClaire holding on to it here. Number 52. Brings it back for Brad Cree. LeClaire and Cree go off for a change. Back for Scanlon. Scanlon fakes it. Good move there. Holds on to it though. Amid some traffic. McIntosh passed it back. Here's Jackson shot, and that one's going to be stopped and held on to by DeMood. And Shane Jackson, he's playing his first game as a Chief this season as well. A lot of first-timers this year for this Six Nations Chiefs squad. 18 players plus the two goaltenders, 20-man roster for both teams. And one of them, Ryan Keenan for... Brooklyn Lacrosse Cup gets it over. There's a shot by Travassos and a good save. And Travassos gets knocked down for his efforts right in front of the crease area. The whistle's going to go, and it is going to be Brooklyn ball here. And Cole, he really wanting to establish that physicality and just to let them know that they're there, as they say. Up top, good ball movement here by Brooklyn. Trent Boyd, number 14, takes a shot down low and it's gonna go just wide. Boyd again, Boyd twisting and turning. Low shot, it goes off a leg, doesn't reach the net. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Some pushing and shoving there at the end. Bell not too, uh, too thrilled by Jacob Martino's efforts there. <laughs> Tyson Bell, very, a very physical player. A five-tool player, as they say. Down low, there's a shot by Jackson. Gets knocked down for his efforts, but he just misses. The Chiefs still with the ball, though. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Good shot by, I believe that was Sam LeClaire. And another stop by DeMood. Nick DeMood, of course. Played some time with Panther City in, a, in the NLL this year. That's another shot stopped Panther by City Jameson. Lacrosse. Panther City. I Panther just City. I love the name. Up for Brad Cree. Cree just holding on to it. Waits for his mates to get set up. Finds Eric Fennell. Eric Fennell, number five, twisting around on the near side. Still with it with a dozen seconds on the shot clock. Moves it back for Scanlon. Over. Back, shot by McIntosh, and that was knocked down before it hit the net. And it's gonna be a fresh shot clock here for the Chiefs. Scanlon got it back, moving around. Here's number 37, Lane Smith, who dumped it to the far side looking for somebody, but 
nobody but imagination in that area. In a situation like that, Lane shooters or Lane Smith is a shooter, so he's got to shoot in that uh, in that instance instead of trying to dump it off. 15 on the shot clock here for Brooklyn. This is Boyden. Boyden number five just missed there and now here comes a three on two rush here for the Chiefs. Logan over and unable to handle it there on the far side with McIntosh. Trying to get to the loose ball can't do it. Costello number 42. He'll just wait patiently a full sail change here for Brooklyn and he'll just leave it there for Trent Boyd. Boyd all the way to the far side. Pilcher finds Byrne. Or rather, this is Boyd with it now. And that's going to be retrieved. The ball being moved up here by Mason Kaminga. He's got Biles with him. Biles over. Can't get the shot away. Good defense by Trent Boyd. And there's another shot taken there by Dave Brock, but down low, didn't beat DeMood. That's one element that Dave Brock's going to bring to this party here is uh, he, he's one of those guys, he's great in transition, he's great on D, super physical, but he also brings that transition and that offensive flair. Scanlon has to dump that one into the corner. Ten seconds on the shot clock, but it's going to be picked up by Taguri. Here's Saunders. Saunders getting pressured there by Liam LeClaire. Got the shot away anyway. It looks like he stepped in the crease either way. The ball did not go past the goalkeeper. Now a good pass over for Fennell, and he was stopped. Fresh shot clock here for the Chiefs as they move the ball around. It's still 1-0. Five, five minutes to go here in the first period. Fennell to the far side. Back to Jackson, over, shot, that one just missed. And that'll go all the way down, right in on Dougie Jamison. It's gonna be Brooklyn ball here, with 4.43 remaining in this first period. There's gonna be a lot of feeling out in this one, like you were saying, uh, there's so many new bodies in the lineup here for the Chiefs, so there, there's going to be that feeling out uh, time. Uh, pretty much the only time they've been able to, to work together since uh, being brought together here is uh, during the warm-up. So you're going to have that feeling out period here. Byrne got it over, trying the tic-tac-toe play in for Martino, but unable to retrieve it there. And here comes Liam LeClaire, or course, rather Kellen LeClaire. And of course, you're going to have John Tavares trying to mix and match up uh, just to see who works with who. This is Finell. Lane Smith, number 37, back to Fennell, shot scores! Eric Fennell, and we're deadlocked at one. His first goal of the season. And in that instance, uh, we were talking about how Lane Smith is a shooter and he needs to shoot. That was a great instance where he didn't shoot, gave up the pass, and I think he was trying to do that before, and he knows the firepower in a, in a line mate like Eric Fennell has. So he's trying to feed Fennell that ball and Fennell buries that one as we're tied here 1-1. One, one. We're gonna look at the replay. We have two guys here on lane. Well, maybe it's an instance where, you know, you're more known for your shoot, your shooting prowess. Yeah. You're just trying to show the, the, uh, the coaches that, hey, it around too. Oh, 100 percent. Like he, he, like Lane's got that reputation. He's just, he, he's going to take that ball and he's going to, he's going to do it on his own. You know what I mean? And in a circumstance like this, uh, and again, when you got a line mate like a, a world class offensive player like Eric Fennell beside you, you're going to want to feed ball, and that's just great recognition. And uh, quite honestly, that's. Uh, Kind of the evolution of Lane Smith's game, to be honest with you. He, he's really matured as a player over the last couple of years. Here's Jackson with a shot. That one goes uh, one hopper just wide and bounces into the crowd and out of play. He's one of those guys that uh, everybody talked about his fitness and you need to get, and you can see him now, boy, oh boy, he, 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 he's a fit fellow, you know what I mean? Getting draped over there was Jacob Martino by Kellen LeClaire. Martino had it there. Now it's along the perimeter. Trent Boyd, number 14, got it over. 
There's a shot, a one hopper by Keenan. And it's gonna be retrieved here by the Chiefs. A little bit of room to work with here for Ty Logan. Leaves it back for Scanlon. Scanlon oh. had a good move there. Nice spin move, gave himself some extra room. He gets knocked down for his efforts. And now a shot by Smith is just gonna go up high. And now a breakaway opportunity. This is Keeley. Keeley, shot stopped by Jamison. That's a great save by Dougie Jamison. And the whistle's gonna go here. But Corson Keeley was off to the races. But Dougie Jamison keeps this one deadlocked at one with 2.23 remaining in this first period. But it is going to be a power play coming up here, the second of the evening for Brooklyn. Must be a theme this week for tight games. The low scoring affairs here is. I think so. <laughs> last, uh, last couple of days in MSL, things have been low scoring. And uh, it's nice to see. Hey, we talk about the world class uh, shooters in, in this league but uh, also those world-class uh, defenders. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a tight couple of weeks. Uh, we had a 10-9 game on Thursday, Thursday in Peterborough. And of course, uh, the Six Nations Chiefs beating the Brampton Excelsiors also on Thursday night. And that game was 7-6. And then uh, Brooklyn beat Brampton 7-6 on Wednesday last week. So a lot of tight games. And uh, that's kind of been Brooklyn's MO is really tightening up on D. Good job by Bell, but he just couldn't retrieve the ball there. Things remaining tight here at the ILA. It is a tense atmosphere on a Tuesday night. Here's Ryan Keenan, passed it back. Martino, got it down low for Burn. Burn with it, back to Martino. Martino to Pilcher, back to Martino. And now a shot kicked away by Jamison. Stopped by Jamison on Keenan on that last opportunity, but Brooklyn gets the ball right on back. Great loose ball action here by the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. There's a shot, another save by Jameson. And I do apologize, we've been calling him Burn all night, number 32, but it's actually Parker Pfeiffer wearing Burn as a nameplate for some reason. Uh, he's uh, Pfeiffer, uh, of course, one of the APs. Plays for the Brooklyn Merchants in Ontario Series Lacrosse. He's one of the leading scorers for the Mert or for the uh, for BLC here. And you saw why there. Good dish, but they're unable to capitalize. At 33 seconds left in the period, under 10 to go in the power play. The ball is still loose. 15 on the shot clock here for Brooklyn. If they can get this ball back but just good board play here by the Chiefs. They're just freezing the ball here. Five, four, three, and that's gonna do it here for the shot clock. 12 seconds left in the period. Back to five aside. <laughs> one final opportunity here for the Chiefs. And one face wash to boot. Yeah, maybe it was a little dirty. Four seconds left in the period. Last chance here, Fennell can't get the shot away. It's gonna be picked up here by Brooklyn and we have a very low scoring game here. After 20 minutes, it is Six Nations one, Brooklyn one. I love it. A tight game indeed. We will go to break and when we come back, we'll analyze the first 20 minutes and get a little bit more analysis. This is Six Nations Lacrosse right here on Rogers TV.
Welcome back inside the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena. This is Six Nations Lacrosse on Rogers TV. It's one all through 20 minutes of play. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart and another, I guess, feeling out process between these two teams and for you know teammates to get to know each other with so many absences. I think you talked more than I did in that first 20 minutes of, of play. Not as Sorry, much man. action to be seen. Not at all. Don't apologize <laughs> whatsoever. It's just a, it's indicative of how this game has gone along. It's yeah. you know more of an educational thing and trying to figure out you know what the strengths and weaknesses are of uh, certain players that are you know getting their first crack at uh, in in some respect in some respects here in major series lacrosse no you're 100 percent right mark and especially when you we, we've talked all year about the six nations chiefs being on in this mission to the man cup but to get to that mission you need to have that depth and the Dwayne Jacobs uh, has added that depth throughout that, and we've talked about that throughout the season, uh, mm -hmm. prior to the season as well. But uh, tonight is really the first look at that, because like you said, we have seven players uh, at the World Championships, and of course, Cody Jamison not playing. There's the first goal by Pilcher. This is a beautiful quick stick. Look at this ball movement right there. And like you said, not even a second. But again, there's Lane Smith dropping it back to Eric Fennell. And uh, Eric Fennell, we talked about it during the period. Eric Fennell is one of those guys that really needs to step up in these these two games this week for the Six Nations Chiefs. Uh, everybody knows the guy can uh, can put the ball in the net. Uh, he, he does so many other things. But I think in this er, in this stretch, these two games this week, uh, Eric Fennell has got to be one of the go-to guys. And, and, and it's funny because uh, they, the Chiefs talked about it a lot last year, uh, especially with the addition of Lyle Thompson into the lineup during the MS final and how it kind of you know I mean you have a dynamic player like Lyle Thompson which is mm -hmm. probably one of the best players in the world yeah on the floor but it kind of it, it kind of gives a jolt to the group on the floor because during that season or during that run it really was uh, an offense by committee mm -hmm. and, and uh, when you add just one more shooter you're trying to feed Lyle Thompson and and that's been not the case this season for the Chiefs. Uh, you can see in the in the scoring leaders, uh, it's spread out, yeah. but it's spread out between six or seven guys that aren't here tonight, <laughs> quite honestly. So, uh, and we look here, and again, Austin Stott's not here, Lyle Thompson not here, Cody Jameson suspended, Bomber, he's out in San Diego, and so is Randy Stotts. So the guys that have had the lion's share of the offense, they're not here right now, and they need offense from somewhere. So that's where you have Eric Fennell, and that's where you have uh, a guy like Ben McIntosh that was brought in for that offensive prowess. So, and again, you bring in a guy like Lane Smith, we all know the dude can shoot. So shooters gotta shoot tonight, and I, I think that's gonna be the case and I know I know I was a little critical of him earlier on by dumping the pass off he should have shot but then he gets the the apple on on Eric Fennell's goal so but yeah Lane Smith one of those guys he's got to shoot that ball tonight and he's just got to simply put uh, the Six Nations Chiefs have to put rubber on the ball or rubber on net on Dick, Nick DeMood. One thing you did miss about what championship teams need to face adversity exactly. these next two games is as much adversity as it's going to get with all of those players out of the lineup. Before we go to break, maybe just take me through the situation involving Cody Jamison, of course, suspended for three games by the OLA. Yeah, I, I don't know much about it, but I, I think it was from uh, well, he coaches minor lacrosse as well. Uh, so, and he's involved with the, the Arrows Junior A team as well. I'm not sure where the suspension came from, but uh, he's got a three-gamer. So because it's OLA and major series lacrosse is under that OLA banner mm -hmm. it's uh, it's one of those uh, three games served uh, but it's not three games just in the M M MSL. MSL no no so it could be two minor games or two arrows games or whatever else uh, Cody's involved with so yeah a bit of a tough break that's for sure uh, not very timely but uh, those things happen but like you said uh, sometimes you need that adversity uh, to build that character and this is a great uh, opportunity for a lot of these players and like you said earlier on the period this is almost an audition for those bit pieces or for those main pieces come playoff time and if you want to be in that starting lineup uh, come playoff time you better be performing right now that's for sure it's a 1-1 one, one game through 20 minutes of play surprised at such a low score yes and no uh, again uh, Brooklyn
Oakland Lacrosse Club, their MO is defense. You know what I mean? You have a guy like Nick, Nick DeMood. He's a he's a world-class goaltender. You know what I mean? He's going to keep it out. And they've got a Hutchcraft as well. He's just a, a phenomenal NL goaltender as well. So you know what I mean? Like, And down to the other end, you have Dougie Jamison, one of the best goaltenders in the world, uh, mm -hmm. down to the other end. So you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's one of those things. It doesn't surprise me at all because Brooklyn, super defensive team. They're very physical. And again, you have guys like David Brock returning and you have uh, just that physicality, that greediness, and uh, that's a hallmark of the Six Nations Chiefs is that gritty defense, and it's showing so far tonight. Let's see if anybody can break through after this, the second period coming up after the break. It is 1-1 here at the ILA. Six Nations Lacrosse on Rogers TV. We'll be back. Six Nations Lacrosse on Rogers TV. This is major series lacrosse action on a Tuesday night. It is 1-1 as we enter the second period of play. Six Nations Chiefs and the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. Thank you for joining us here. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. Here's Dalton Silver, the NLL champion. Moves it to the far side. And the Chiefs just looking to break through this stout defense from Brooklyn. Eric Fennell dumps it back. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. That one's going to be intercepted, though, and a chance on the run here for Jacob Saunders. Saunders takes a look, takes a shot. That one just goes wide. Tried to look for the midsection area. And now on the counterattack, there's a chance. Shot down low and another save. This time on the other way, Nick DeMood, who's having a bit of trouble getting out of his own net. <laughs> He's laughing back there. He got caught. His, uh, the back of his mask got caught in the netting there. But again, uh, Dwayne Jacobs, John Tavares, uh, Joy Caputo shuffling things up already in that first set. You had Dalton Solver there with... There's Ooh, a nice that's goal. a beautiful goal right there. That one coming courtesy of Parker Pfeiffer, the Rochester player, puts Brooklyn back ahead. He's been fantastic this season so far. And again, like I was saying, he's having a heck of a season for the Brooklyn Merchants and the Ontario Series Lacrosse. And here's the replay again, as it just kind of surprised us on that one, but slips by Tyson Bell and then uh, dives, in for the, uh, dives in for the goal. And uh, that's just a nice play, bouncing off the check. Uh, and again, just a great example of not giving up on the uh, after being checked. Par Parker's first goal of the season. He leads the team in points. 
crazy. Eh? 14 points, all of them were assists. Make it point number 15 on the year, his first goal of the season. There's a shot, oh and boy. that one is oh. just in between the legs. Oh, Dougie Jamison had to be careful on that one. He looked back and he had to swipe back. He had to go backhanded on that one. He was wiping some sweat, that's for sure. <laughs> McIntosh on the near side. McIntosh looking for some room. Good pass to LeClaire. Shot. That one goes wide. It'll be picked up here by Lane Smith. Smith tried to feed it up top, and now a run. Coming in for it is number three, Travassos. Travasso oh, scores! Boy. That's great hustle by Travasso. He simply, that was just, uh, he, he simply just beat Ben McIntosh on that one in that running race. Uh, that's just a great effort. Honestly, that was just a, a, a moment of will there, I think. Uh, the best word for it here is there. it's just a race for the ball. And got knocked down right as he got the shot away, too. Just beating J Dougie Jameson. And it's a 3-1 game. Just like that. Two goals early on in the second period here for Brooklyn. And again, that's one thing you don't want to do, Mark, is uh, get behind. That's what happened to Leclerc. Can't get the shot away. He was in alone in front of the net. That's one thing you don't want to do with the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club is get behind too much. Like I said, they, they are a stingy team on defense. But uh, and again, that, that loss to BLC, uh, the Chiefs got down four goals early, and that was kind of the that was kind of did them in. There's a shot, another save by Jamison. And now the Chiefs move it the other way. Long pass there, almost getting it stick to stick to Eric Fennell on the run, but he just couldn't retrieve it. You can tell the timing, eh? Leclerc with a beautiful long pass, but just unable to connect. It's Boyden. Got it over. Couldn't get it back, though. Retrieved here by Martino. Turning around and back was number 15, Ryan Keenan. Couldn't get a full shot away on the near side, and Biles has it here now for Six Nations. Holding on to it, number 42. Leaves it here for Silver. Silver finds his man. There's a shot. Stopped by Demood. Silver's one of those guys that also has to step up. We, we talked a lot about him last season uh, when, uh, when the Chiefs picked him up. He was an impact player right away. McIntosh scores! Right over the shoulder, the left shoulder of Demood. You know what? The Chiefs close the gap. Sometimes you got to be lucky, and you know what I mean? Uh, on that one, I think that was a tip. We got to look at the replay there. Is Ben McIntosh, but you know what? Throw stuff. Like we said, throw, throw stuff on net. Good throw stuff happen. on Exactly. And here we'll see here. There's the, the set. Not sure if we could see that. It looked like it was tipped. Either that or it just eluded uh, Demood from up top. But either way, Ben McIntosh on the scoreboard in the goal department. And that's what you're looking for if you're a Six Nations Chiefs fan. And they're looking to strike again on the quick attack, but Fennell's just going to hold on to it. Lays it back. Now Sam LeClaire. LeClaire trying to twist and turn around, looking for some room. He'll pass it over. Fennell. Fennell holding on to it, getting bodied there in the process. Fennell still with it. Great possession there, and that one's going to be shot just as time expires by Lane Smith. He's been just off the mark. Boy, does he have a heavy shot. Corson Keeley, number 24, hold on to it. It's on the near side, looking for some room. Finds his mates, Boyd, trying to get it back over, but can't do it. Loose ball is going to be picked up in a two-on-one here for the Chiefs. Two-on-two as a player gets back into the play. This is Cree. Cree just waiting. He'll leave it back here. Dalton Silver. Silver trying to find Cree on the back door, but can't do it. Cree, though, still with it on the near side, and he loses the ball. It'll be picked up here. Hey, now so on the run, here comes Kiernan. Kiernan waiting, waiting. It takes a shot stopped by Jamison, and a rebound oh. scores. What a play there. An individual effort by Brady. 
Brady Kiernan on the rebound, and Brooklyn gets one right back. Oh, Brady Kiernan just doing Brady Kiernan things. He's a, you know what, he's, he's the catalyst for this uh, Brooklyn Lacrosse Club team, especially offensively. He was the overtime hero the other night as well, but uh, he's one of those guys you just have to... You know, I mean, Mark, he, he, he's one of those guys that if he's on, the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club is on as well. You know what I mean? It is four to two now here. Brooklyn with three here in the period. And that was just pure will again. Beautiful loose, goal, loose ball pickup. Cole, good spin move. Cole trying to dump it over, but that one's going to be intercepted and coming back the other way. Costello. Costello has some mates going toward the front of the net. He's just going to be patient with it and dump it back over here for Pilcher. Of course, Kiernan was the uh, uh, overtime hero last week for BLC, but that was his first game of the season. There's a shot scores down low. Luke Pilcher has two here tonight. I got it right down low. Uh, that one just beat Dougie Jameson. Uh, there was a there was a gap of a, probably about two, three inches there. Not much room, but Pilcher saw that from the right side and just snuck it right by Dougie Jameson here as we look at the replay here. And that, that's just a great bouncer. I love the bounce shot. Love it, the always, bounce shot. it always causes a bit of a struggle for goaltenders. Pilcher now up to four goals this season. Doubling his goal output. Here in this game, Sam LeClaire with the game winner last Thursday with two seconds left in regulation. LeClaire dumps it back in, scores oh, from the knees. That's a beaut. Ben McIntosh slow to get up, but he's got one in, and it's five to three. Well, they be they better give Ben McIntosh the first goal because he scored the. the, the for some reason, I, I heard our PA announcer say Mason Kaminga on the goal, but that was clearly Ben McIntosh, and now he's got Ben McIntosh has two goals tonight, and that was just a beauty effort. But again, they're moving the ball. Here it comes, nice little dump pass, and again, bounce shot. Love it. As he was going to the ground, too, retrieves the ball and scores the goal. That's a heck of a flight. That's a heck of a pass by Sam LeClaire as well. You got to give full marks to that. He created that space, and Ben McIntosh doing what he needs to do, get cut right to the middle. Bell over for Silver. Silver has to step back. It's a five to three game here at the ILA. Brooklyn leading Six Nations. Scanlon passed it back. There's a shot, bounces off of somebody. McIntosh trying to get it back in. Here is Fennell. Fennell getting draped over by three players, and the ball's going to come loose. And it'll be brought ahead here by Brooklyn. Parker Pfeiffer will just leave it back. Ryan Keenan. Boyd. Back over. Ten on the shot clock now. Shot clock expires. It went just wide, I should say. And here come the Chiefs the other way. That's great defense by the Chiefs on that one. Giving absolutely nothing. And hammered in there. It was Lane Smith, but he comes away with the ball. Great footwork by Smith on that. There's LeClaire. LeClaire looking, shooting, just missed. And it comes back to the Chiefs. Shot by McIntosh. It is knocked away by DeMood. Chance here on the run. This is Costello. Costello outnumbered, so he's just going to wait. And he'll leave it here. This is Pilcher. Pilcher. Shot clock actually frozen right now. Ooh, and there he goes. Big hit there. Was it from behind, though? That might be. Uh, it was from the side, but that just, it was one of those circumstances. He was just a, he was a good footer, a foot and a half away from the board. Just looked like he crumpled down there. Very heavy indeed. Kiernan will leave it back. There's a shot. Looks like it might have been just a hard pass by Pilcher. He so has it here again. I wasn't sure if that was a pass or a shot. <laughs> I don't think he knew if that was a pass or a shot. Where gets knocked down. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Brooklyn, they have to get the 
this away here. Three seconds, two, that one goes wide. And that will wrap up the shot clock as the Chiefs will take over. I think the, uh, the, the Six Nations uh, defense have really talked to each other on this one, led by Joey Capito, of course, on, who's on the bench because of injury, he can't play this season. So he's behind the bench and just a wealth of knowledge back there. But uh, probably he, he's a student of the game, so he's telling his teammates, now he's coaching, I guess, but uh, he, he's telling those defenders to be stingy and to give them nothing. That was just a great example of the last two to three sets after that uh, BLC goal. Uh, Power play coming up here for Six Nations. And the Chiefs really did not give BLC anything to look at here offensively. And then that, that's a credit to just, uh, just kind of being students of the game there. First power play of the game here for the Chiefs, of course, Joey Cupido applies his trade when he is on the floor with the Colorado Mammoth in the NLL, who ended up losing in the NLL final this year to Buffalo. Yeah, it's got to be tough. A uh, guy like him, he loves to compete. Really great guy. Uh, I wonder, just a, wonder what that conversation is like between him and John Tavares on the bench there. <laughs> well, it's one of those uh, circumstances. He, did, he wasn't able to play just because of his injury. And he's kind of hoping to be back uh, for the NLL season, he's he set a good he set a, a a good goal for himself, and he's just talking to him. He's really trying to set him all, set himself up physically for success. The back pass shot is going to be blocked, and it's going to come back the other way. And they're going to say it deflected off a Brooklyn player. So Achilles is something not to mess around with. So. Hey, I dealt with that last year. It is not fun. There's a shot. That one is blocked in front. Loose ball. Six Nations, McIntosh with a shot. It's going to be stopped, and it'll be picked up here by Keeley. Some of these offensive players in the Chiefs are really recognizing the, having to step up. You can really, they've really ramped up in the second period. There was a, like we talked about, real feeling out process in the first, but in the second uh, period here, they, they've really done a nice job of kind of stepping up. Brooklyn with it here. They have... shoved around, but he gets it on net anyway as the shot clock expires. And the Chiefs will move it up. Chiefs down by two. Under 10.30 to go here in the second. Dalton Silver. His pitching catch. Gets it up top. Good move there by Cole. And there's a shot. He scores. McIntosh gets on the board yet again. That was a beauty. Make it three for McIntosh. He's got himself a hattie here tonight. I want to see the replay on this. This was, this was just pretty. Great ball movement going side to side, making the mood go east-west. But what a great finish here by Ben McIntosh. Just tick, tack, toe, and away you go. That's fantastic ball movement, Mark. That really is. And again, Ben McIntosh, that's his third right now. And uh, he's really stepping up here. His first multi-goal game of the season. And he's got the hat trick. Making me sound like I know what I'm talking about here, Mark. Eh, you know, <laughs> there's a shot. That one goes down low, stopped. Oh, man. Here's Ben McDonald. On the jump, picking it up here. Luke Pilcher, number oh, six. They did give McIntosh that first goal. So he's got Hattie here in the second period. There's a shot stopped by Dougie Jamison. He'll pick it up. And the Chiefs move it up here. This is Dave Brock. Leaves it back. Here's the latest goal scorer in Ben McIntosh. Got it to Scanlon. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Tried to find McIntosh, a loose ball. It's still loose. Picked up by McIntosh. Two seconds left. He's trying to get it toward the goal. He was trying to find Leclerc, I should say, but too little too late on that possession. We had a 5-4 game here at the ILA. Good spin move there. 
move the ball around. Shot down low by Keeley. That one goes just wide. Brady here to number 83. Now Trent Boyd left it back, but it's going to be picked up. And now the Chiefs come back the other way with Ty Logan. Logan will wait for the wholesale change. And looked like he was going to go off for a rest himself. Yes, he indeed will as he passed it back to Dalton Silver. Silver playing pitch and catch. Silver trying to step in. Five on the shot clock. Trying to find his man. There's a shot down low and it's stopped by Demood. As the shot clock expired there on the Chiefs. Waiting for Dalton Silver to go airborne here. Yeah, he is looking to pick his spot there. Only a matter of time. Meantime, here come the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club. There was a shot taken by Pilcher. It's deflected wide. Pilcher got it back. Here's Boyden wearing the blue helmet. And it's going to be picked up here by the Chiefs. Here's Brad Cree on the run. He's got a man towards in front of the net. He scores. Brad Cree, and we got a tie game. And again, the guys that uh, the Chiefs have brought in. In these moments for this, and uh, Brad Cree stepping up, and then just great transition. He just blew that one by Demood, and we got ourselves a tie game. Got ourselves a tie game here, Mark. Looked like they were respecting the pass on that situation, yep. but Brad Cree saw the opening, and he made no mistake. Uh, Brad Cree's just a world-class player. You know, he plays for the Toronto Lock, and uh, my my first look at him was during the Man Cup. Those man, that man cup runs through. There's oh a shot, he scores. So fast, don't blink, folks. The Chiefs have taken the lead. And uh, we were talking about those new additions at the start of the season, Brad Creek being one, Cole being, Brian Cole being the other. And again, all in transition is getting a fist pump from Tyson Bell there. But uh, yeah, just to finish that story about Brad Creek, I had my first look at him really was in a Victoria Shamrocks uniform uh, when they were representing the WLA here at the ILA uh, for the Man Cup. Great player. Uh, he's in Ontario now. It's great to watch. But just a world-class player. Sorry, I had to finish the six, thought there. <laughs> six on the board, no worries. But again, you, you didn't really see the the chemistry kind of building here, uh, Mark. Uh, we talked a lot about feeling out process in that first period, and 1-1, one, one, and now all of a sudden it's 6-5, and we're, we've still got 7 minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the uh, second period here. We've had an offensive explosion. Yes, we have. It was 1-1 one, one if you're just joining us after the first period of play. That's right, 1-1. One, one. How times have a change here at the ILA in the last 13 minutes as the ball gets knocked loose. Picked up here by Jamison. Brad Cree in here. Well, here we go. Some fisticuffs getting broken up here. Yeah, you know. a weapon for BLC. He, you don't want him missing for the rest of the game. That's a trade-off if you're the Six Nations Chiefs. That's you would a, love to have. That's a heck of a trade-off, Mark, but uh, cooler heads prevailed. Man. That, you know what? You, you knew right from the get-go Kieran wasn't doing anything. He wasn't nibbling on that. And he is having a conversation with the official here. And it's going to be five apiece. So there's your trade-off there, folks. Brady Kiernan and Ty Logan. Each will sit down for the major. Brad Cree, member of the Toronto Rock. 15 points in 18 games this season. A good depth player for the Rock this year. He's got the Chiefs up 6-5 here at the ILA. Of course, we talk about the Toronto Rock because, of course, as we know, we finally know where they're going to be calling home for the next couple of seasons. Shocker. Be, yeah. Just up the uh, the 427. There's a shot stopped by Jamison and being knocked over by LeClaire. As the Chiefs will move it ahead. Here's Brock. Brock will leave it. He'll go off 
off to the bench. And ball movement here. Here's LeClaire. Ten on the shot clock. LeClaire dumping it in. Silver looked like he was going to go for a swim in the crease, but he got the shot away. No room to put it in the back of the net, though. Now the other way, shot scores. Jacob Martino ties it up. That's just a great play by BLC. Again, this is just a fantastic cross game right now, Mark. A little bit of everything. We had that tight defensive, uh, just that defensive stance by both teams and the teams feeling out, but boy, oh boy, they really opened things up here in the second, which is also a lot of fun to watch. And that just beat Dougie there. That's just a great shot. You use the defender as a screen, kind of using that release point and uh, just kind of hiding that ball. Loose ball on the draw is going to be picked up here. That's Bell. On his back. McIntosh. Chiefs moving it around. And the whistle's going to go. It's going to be Brooklyn ball here. Fresh legs on here for the Chiefs. And good defense there as Jacob Martino was rushing toward the goal, but there were three Chiefs in front of him. And now Pfeiffer got it back. Loose ball in the corner here now. Free will pick it up. Free will take it. And he'll just go for a little jog here up the floor. Conserve a bit of energy. Jackson got it over. Off the bench here is Lane Smith. Smith went a charge, and here's Silver up for McIntosh. Had it knocked up, picked up here. Here's a chance, kicked away. Rebound, another save. Two straight by DeMood. And now Saunders. He'll leave it back. There's Luke Pilcher. Pfeiffer in there and some physicality involving Bell. That ball is going to be shot just wide and bounce all the way down. Shocker Tyson Bell with that one. <laughs> he, the there. he does not mess around and Fennell gives a bit of a shove to the goaltender and he picks it up here. Here's Fennell. A little bit of physicality on the goaltender. You got to love to see it. Keeping him in the game. Finell, 17 on the shot clock. Still a lot of room to move. Here's LeClaire. Dumps it in. One hopper stopped. And the rebound is going to be picked up. Now on the run. Costello. Tried to find his mate in the corner. Oh, boy. Knocked down. Oh, oh, he got charged Yikes. through like a freight train. LeClaire just ran him over. the Brooklyn zone. Oh my goodness, what a hit. Well, uh, I watched Bullet Train last night and it kind of looked like at the end of the movie there when the girl got run over by the truck. <laughs> That's exactly what that looked like. <laughs> oh, oh man. Here come Brooklyn again. This is Saunders. Got it to the far side. I'm just going to calm things down. Pfeiffer on the floor here. 15 on the shot clock. And that's number 15, Keenan. Keenan trying to find his mate. He does so. Pfeiffer loses it. Gets a hack in oh there. Boy. He gets knocked down. And a couple of extra shots there by Cole. And I think Cole's going to go to the box here. I might think so. I don't know if it was the cross check or the stepping over. <laughs> it could have been one of two or three things there, but uh, Brian Cole, again, showing that physicality. That's what you need to show, though. you got to have that intimidation factor. Uh, you don't want those guys coming inside on you. And the best way for <laughs> to, to let them know you're there is to make sure you let them know you're there, and that's a perfect example of that. Oh, he knew he was there. He knocked on his door and barged his way in. And Brad Cree just uh, laid some wood behind the play there, and he, you know what? Uh, 
this Chiefs defense. They're nasty. We talked a, little, a lot about it. There's Tyson Bell. You know, these, these guys are getting nasty. They make you earn every inch of that floor. That yep. is for sure. Brooklyn here on the power play. As they'll move the ball around. We are six all. Brooklyn looking to take the lead. Every time a BLC player goes by, someone's getting whacked with something. Physicality at its finest as Bell is just going to leave it here. Bell, good stutter step. Bell charging toward the goal, passes it over, trying to find Finell, but it just goes over his stick. Finell scooping it up now, and player gets knocked down. Looked like that was Travasos who went down on the play, and they're going to give it to Brooklyn here. And Tyson Bell giving him an earful on the way to the bench. <laughs> Doesn't hide his feelings, that is for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Where's him on the sleeve? Won't be getting a Christmas card this year, that's for sure. <laughs> Best dude in the world off the floor, too. That's <laughs> what the funny part. It's like a lot of those guys that are just nasty on the floor. Just good dudes in real life. There's a shot. That one's going to go high. Zach Kerrigan with that latest opportunity. And the shot clock will expire, and the Chiefs will get the ball back here. 43 on the power play, and now a long pass trying to find Finell, and just evades him. It's almost as if everybody thinks Finell's about six foot eight. The way he plays, <laughs> he's about seven feet. Hey, every pass to him, I swear, every pass he's had to go airborne for. Is there something in the combine that we don't know? Does he have a good vertical? <laughs> good question. I don't know, I'd rather just get the pass on to him. Here's Sam LeClaire. Leaves it for the aforementioned Fennell. Fennell will hold on to it, and he'll just dump it into the corner. Five seconds on the shot clock, trying to find Sam LeClaire on the, on the back door, but unable to find him. They're really trying to work that weak side right now. Yes, they are. Just missing by inches, though. Here's Peroni. Peroni in for Kiernan. Left it for Keenan. Now the ball is loose on the far side. Good scoop up here. Trying to find number 25, Kerrigan. Can't do it. Six all with 48 seconds left in the second period. Here's Kellen LeClaire. LeClaire dumps it back for Silver. And for Fennell. Finell getting draped over by Travassos. There's a shot down low, tried the one hopper, and it's gonna go off of a Brooklyn player and into the screen and out of play. And there's gonna be a timeout called here. 31 seconds left in the period. As they always say, if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. That's uh, right. 31.2 remaining here, and we got a tie game, second period. We got ourselves a great one here, Mark. It's been fun. Yes, we do. It's a tie game. It's been going back and forth. Come on, had an almost, water. Had an almost water. fight. Yes. But, uh, yeah. but again, just great respect as we see Dougie Jameson, Nick DeMood go over at each other, give them the, give them the old uh, fist bump as they uh, go to their respective benches for their water. But boy, this has been a great game so far, Mark. A little bit of everything, like you said. And, and the Six Nations Chiefs have really started kind of finding themselves in these uh, offensive uh, formations that uh, John Tavares and uh, Dwayne Jacobs have kind of imagined up here. And on the other side, BLC has been fantastic tonight. They've been stingy. They've taken advantage of their opportunities. They're really great in transition, and I, I just love the hustle on BLC, and that's been a hallmark of them so far. I know they haven't played a ton of games so far, but hustle and determination has been a BLC uh, uh, calling card so far, and they've been fantastic this season. Tonight, just another example of why the, the parody in MSL is fantastic. It looks like uh, Dougie... Yeah, he's going to be on the sit. bench here. He's going to be on the bench in favor of the extra attacker here. Yeah, so we got McIntosh, Silver, and Sam LeClaire on the outside. Eric Fennell, Sam LeClaire, and I believe that is number 55 on the far side, Brian Cole. Those are your six attackers here for the Chiefs. This is Cole. 
Cole trying a shot. That one's going to go off of a body. Dougie Jamison racing back into the net. A long pass. Oh, my goodness. What a scoop. Two seconds left. Trouble oh, the shot. Oh, he scores. Are you kidding me? The buzzer beater. And oh, the oh. Chiefs have the lead going into the third period. Oh, boy. You know where that all started from? Ben McIntosh up at center. Reaching up, reaching out, and finishing it off. But what like a great a finish. Like a strong safety at the center. <laughs> Reaches up, snags it up. Great feed, recognizing how much time was on the clock. And they still made two passes to get that. That is just quick stick work <laughs> by the Six oh, Nations man. Chiefs. And we have a 7-6 game going into the third. Oh, what a show, folks. We'll be back in just a moment to analyze that second period. Woo-wee! It is Six Nations Lacrosse here on Rogers TV. Series lacrosse here on Rogers TV. It is Six Nations 7, Brooklyn 6 through 40 minutes of play back here at the ILA. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. And it was a 1 1 game through 20 <laughs> minutes of play. Oh, how things have changed. A lot of goals in that second period. A lot of goals, that's for sure, Mark. And we're just going to start it off with uh, Parker Piper's goal here to start things off. BLC got off to a roaring start with two. There's Jack Travassos. He scored. Give the uh, Brooklyn Lacrosse Club the lead. And then Ben McIntosh. This was his period. I think you know this might be a, a turning point for him this season. And then there's Brady Kiernan just doing what he does best, putting the home the ball. And of course, Luke Pilcher scoring again. That's a nice one. Ben McIntosh, I love that. Look at that. Hurt himself down there, but you know what? He's on a roll and there's Ben McIntosh's second one. You know what? He scored three goals from three completely different areas. And then there's Brad Cree burying it in from the, uh, the in transition here. And then this one, this one is from Brian Cole. And that was just nice. We're all tied up. 
And of course, there's Jacob Marti Martino's goal, but Shane Jackson here finishing this beautiful effort. I wish we had the uh, the reach by Ben McIntosh there. And ben McIntosh, what, a, what an athletic play there, right at center. He reached out. I, I thought this period was over. He reached up, didn't give up. Pass, pass. Shane Jackson puts it home. And now we've got a 7-6 lead for the Six Nations Chiefs. Boy, what Ooh. a period, Mark. What a period it's, indeed. It's been fun. Yeah, last, uh, last second goal. I mean, there's nothing better about that, but you touched on something, of course. You know, ben McIntosh, three goals, a helper in this game as well. The question coming into tonight was, where are the points going to be coming from? Six players out of the lineup tonight for the Six Nations Chiefs, all of them with double-digit scoring. Now, we had mentioned earlier on in the game that Brian Cole technically leads the team in scoring among the players that are on the floor tonight with eight points. Well, Ben McIntosh, have yourself a coming out party. Well, and, and like we just said, Ben McIntosh, this is his game, to, and this is his time to shine. This is a guy that uh, shines wherever he plays. And then, when, uh, of course, when you're coming to a team like the Six Nations Chiefs, basically is a depth guy, this is your time to shine because uh, the, the depth of, of this team is going to have to show this week, especially, uh, and of course, we've got the uh, showing just the players away at the World Championships. So this is Ben McIntosh's uh, time to shine, like I was saying. Um, uh, Fennell, he's another guy, but Dalton Solver is one of those other players that uh, is going to have to step up. And he, he really showed some uh, some jump in that second period. And of course, he hadn't played in a couple weeks. Lots of celebrations with the Bandits. So uh, shaking a little bit of the rust off there. But, uh, you, you know, the Six Nations Chiefs, um, John Tavares, the brain trust here, Dwayne Jacobs, Joey Capito, did a really good job of mixing and matching. They, they juggled the lines up in that second period uh, they saw what was working what didn't and uh, maybe the one the only thing that they might need to do is get uh, uh, Fennell a pass that's not eight feet high but other than that it's been fantastic uh, down to the other four or uh, end of the four uh, BLC just taking advantage of their opportunities they've been fantastic tonight uh, stingy defense as always the has been fantastic uh, and here we look at the scoring leaders for BLC Parker Pfeiffer of course he scored his first goal tonight, yes. and, he's still, and he's leading this team in scoring. Zach Kerrigan, he's been an impact guy tonight. Tyler, uh, good child as well. Luke Pilcher, he's got a pair tonight, I believe, and Liam Osborne. Of course, Brady Kiernan, uh, he played his first game of the season last week with BLC. Uh, was an immediate impact in that game on Wednesday, and then uh, he's been an impact in this one tonight. And of course, showing a lot of leadership, uh, he could have easily went down that road with that little tussle in the corner turned away from it because he knows he's got to lead this team offensively jacob martino leading the brooklyn team right now with a goal and three assists in this game and i mentioned that because you know it's a depth player and it seems like it's depth players that are getting a lot of the job done in the second period not necessarily always on the score sheet but i feel like the big difference in that second period as we uh, go to break in just a moment here yeah. daryl if you can just analyze just the big difference in that second period just the physical physicality of it all absolutely and both teams defense has really stepped up the physicality but on the offensive end I think it was more chemistry if anything uh, uh, of course down the Six Nations and it was a chemistry thing but uh, also with BLC uh, they've got a lot of guys that they, they've got this lineup that kind of mix and matches and uh, of course the brain trust over at BLC have really done a nice job of mixing guys into into things and they've done a really nice job with it and those young players have really taken advantage of their opportunities well, it's 7-6, to six, six Nations through 40 minutes of play. We'll be back for the third period right after this. This is Major Series Lacrosse right here on Rogers TV.
major series lacrosse here on Rogers TV, getting set for a very exciting third period of play. Mark Perry alongside Daryl Smart. Oh my goodness. This is, this is gonna be an entertaining finish. If the first 40 minutes are any indication. What's your prediction on this one, uh, Mark? I don't we get had, we had defense we had defensive stalemate, period number one. We had offensive explosion, period number two. What's behind door number three, my friend? Usually they they, they they don't open door number three, if I do remember from that game. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. So let, let, let's make a deal, Daryl Smart. I got nothing for you. You got nothing. What's but in the box? Nothing. What, nothing's in the box, oh, but excitement is. here. As already, Mason Kaminga loses a lid. Under five seconds into the third period, and Cole tried to go upstairs, downstairs on Demood, but stepped in the crease. Mason Kaminga's done a really nice job in the face-off circle. That's uh, just something we uh, haven't really talked about a lot, but uh, that's uh, over the years, that's been one of the Achilles heels for the Chiefs, especially going up against Jake Withers and the Peterborough Lakers. And of course, Jake Withers, who is going to be in a Peterborough Lakers uniform this summer. Uh, he was in the PL last year, but again, uh, He's, a, he's actually with the Haudenosaunee Nationals as well. But uh, Jake Withers, one of the best face-off men in the entire world. Him, Trevor Baptiste, 1A, 1B, so. The Chiefs moving it around here. Jackson shot to move the save. And here come Brooklyn the other way. A fast break for Keeley. Shot, that one goes just wide. And this will be picked up here by the Chiefs. Sending out a congratulations as well. Brady Kiernan on one side in Brooklyn. And of course, Jerry Stotts, who is away for the Six Nations Chiefs. Both of them signing two-year deals very recently with the Georgia Swarm. There's a shot oh, one time. Ho oh, ho, Lane Smith. Great big shot. stick by Lane Smith. That's something you don't see from him. It's, it's nice. Uh, you've seen a little bit of everything from Lane tonight. Hasn't been on the score sheet. Or you got the apple there in, in the first period. But boy, he's done a little bit of every ton everything tonight. He's been noticeable. Yes, he has. Brooklyn moving it around. Pfeiffer up top trying to find Pilcher on the back door but can't do it now here's Dilks Dilks over passes it to McIntosh who's got three tonight loose ball scooped up here by Saunders and he'll settle things down Costello crosses center moves in and he's got Dilks all over him and here comes Jacob Martino has a goal and three helpers here this evening. Now inside, shot kicked away by Jamison. That's a nice save by Dougie. Chiefs will get the ball back here. Here's Kevin Hill. Brings it back. Some fresh legs on here for the Chiefs. Here's Fennell, who's got one here this evening. Stepping in, there's a shot by Sam LeClaire. It stopped. Fresh shot clock here for the Chiefs. There's Sam LeClaire. Into the corner here for Jackson. Jackson passes it over for Scanlon. Inside oh, shot, oh, scores. Pretty. Turn to Mood inside out and backwards, and it's eight to six. That's just a pretty play by Charlie Scanlon. Last week, he was on fire. He was pretty offensive uh, last week at, or last week here at the ILA, but this is just pretty. Look at that. What patience. Totally waited for Demood to kind of commit to that. And as soon as Demood committed, he was able to kind of contort his way, twist it in. And now some pushing and shoving here on the near side, on the uh, <laughs> left side here. I wonder who's involved on that one. Now change, is, it looks like it is number 32, Parker Pfeiffer for Brooklyn. And it was, of course, our friend's, our friend Bell the on Tyson that play. Bell on the receiving end on that one. Cool. Trying to send a message, but it's an 8-6 game here at the ILA. The Chiefs have the lead back. 
Travassos trying to traverse his way across center. He does so. And he'll just hold on to it. A full change on here for Brooklyn. Number 53, Jacob Martino took that pass, but he didn't get it in on Pfeiffer going toward the far side. And it'll be picked up here. Kellen LeClaire leaves it back here for Jackson. Good job by Sulver to rush in. Leaves it back for Fennell. Back to Jackson. Jackson on the near side. Looking for a play. Dumps it to Fennell. Fennell oh, over. Oh and McIntosh can't get the shot away. It's a case where Fennell knew who had the hot hand. He was trying to get it off to Ben McIntosh. But he should have kept that one for himself. He was wide open on that one. There's Boyd. Boyd leaves it back, playing pitch and catch. He's got it here again. Boyd takes a shot. And it's like he had hit a stick on the on the the follow through of the shot, so it went wide. Oh. Bunch of players get knocked over in the crease, and now the Chiefs come back the other way. Here's Kellen Leclaire. Leclaire, he's got Hill. Good defense by Ryan Keenan, getting the stick in the way on the two on one. See what the response is going to be here from Brooklyn. Down eight to six here with 15 minutes left. So they'll move the ball around here. Off the bench is Pilcher. Pass it over inside. Pfeiffer was trying to find his man, but that's going to be grabbed up here. Ty Logan. For Brian Cole. Cole's got a goal and a helper here this evening. Leaves it for Clay Scanlon or Charles Scanlon. Inside, going to hit the post, I believe. Yeah, ben McIntosh again. Definitely a hot hand. Bounced off the post so quickly, it, may, it really can't blink in these games. Brooklyn here with it again. Brady Kiernan inside. Kerrigan trying to get around the Six Nations defenders. Can't do it. Now the Chiefs have it here again. Mason Kaminga. Kaminga will hold on to it. Leaves it back. This is Lane Smith. The big boys on the floor here for the Chiefs. Here's Fennell, six on the shot clock. Looking inside, Fennell trying to twist and turn. He still got it. But that's going to be an expiring shot clock as Fennell gets slammed into the backboards. There's Shane Jackson and Fennell playing a good two-man game there. You can really see these uh, these uh, offensive uh, offensive pairings just being mixed and matched by John Tavares and Dwayne Jacobs, and they're they're finding a little bit of chemistry here, and it's nice to see. Let's see what they can do with this chemistry is they find themselves on the power play. The Chiefs again up by two. Here's Cole. Shot. Go. No. It looked like the net had moved off of the shot, and they're going to say it's Brooklyn ball, I believe. And there's some arguing on the floor right now. So no goal. We can confirm that. It'd be great to have a replay on that one. I don't have no idea what happened there. It looked like that went in. That was a Brian Cole shot. I saw the twine move. We've got but it might have been maybe the goaltender maybe kicking the net, perhaps, on the play. It's tough to say. We've got a holding call. I believe that was just the player that's already in the box, though, the hold. So it is going to be Brooklyn, I believe, that's going to get ball. the ball. Yep. Or they're going to have this go back to center for a draw. John Tavares getting his say in on that last play to the official. And yes, indeed, we're going to have a draw here at center. 
And it's going to be picked up by Bell. Kaminga about to stick in on Peroni. Peroni was trying to sell a, a call there, but he's not going to get it. Looks like he got a stick in the air. That's a strange one. Yes, indeed. Here's Cole. Back over to LeClaire, trying to find Jackson. Here's Jackson here with it again. Six on the shot clock. Inside shot stopped by DeMood. And the rebound's going to be scooped up. Ben McDonald with some speed down from right to left, wearing number two in the blue helmet. He'll just leave it back here for Martino. Got it to the far side, Brady Kiernan right in front of the Six Nations bench. He's just gonna sky, sky that one into the screen and out of play. Yep. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Just a little that side. A little too much English, as they say, on the follow-through. This one's kind of slowed and bogged down a little bit, which is a little strange. And would work into the favor of Six Nations, who, of course, lead this game. They wouldn't mind settling things down in a close game against some good defense that they're facing here. Here's Cole back over to LeClaire, back to Cole. They had some time on the shot clock to work with, trying to find a man back door. That is Eric Fennell, who's got to move back out. Fennell back to Cole. Inside shot scores. Oh, oh. Make it nine to six. That's some pretty ball movement, Mark. That really is just pretty ball movement. Simply put. And who is it leading the charge? Number 90 with his fourth. That's just beautiful. And, and we were saying it just a couple of minutes ago, they're really looking for Ben McIntosh now. They know he's got that hot hand, and they're trying to feed him that ball because everything he's touching is going into the net. And we've got ourselves a 9-6 lacrosse game here, Mark, with uh, 11.42 left in the third. Again, if you're just joining us, it was 1-1 one to one after the first. An explosion of scoring in the second. And now we are here at nine to six. Ball is loose. And it'll be scooped up here. Biles holding on to it now. Biles left it in and getting muscled there was Tyler Biles. Giving it a little hug there to make sure that everybody's safe. All about safety, folks. Number 32 and white, Parker Pfeiffer got it back. This is Pilcher. Pilcher left it. Now it's Pfeiffer over and going on the one knee was Brady Kiernan, and he is slow to get up. Ty Logan laying the wood there. And he gets a shot for his efforts. Oh, my goodness. The officials hearing it from the Six Nations bench, but that was clearly <laughs> that was clearly a penalty. High stick there. It's Roger Nurse who gets the old high stick call up. No disputing that one as much as you do it. As much as you want to dispute a call, that one, not so. So just to confirm, they have given the last goal to Shane Jackson yep. and not Ben McIntosh. That's twice. Here's a shot he scores. Ryan Keenan closes the gap. A power play goal to make it 9-7. Well, when you're on the power play, then uh, good time to be on the power play when you're down a couple and you, you want to get back into this one, and that's a perfect shot. It's just... Nice ball movement, great shot, beating Dougie Jameson down low, and then we've got ourselves a 9-7 game. 10-29 uh, left, Mark. Yeah. Again, door number three is looking like it's going to be a barn burner. Yes, indeed. Got a good one here on a Tuesday night. Draw taken, and quick on the ball there was Parker Pfeiffer. Ball is loose. Hill loses the stick, but he's going to go in and try to soccer play it. <laughs> the multi-sport athlete. 
Look at that. Jacob Saunders holds Tyson, on to it. Tyson Bell went full send on that as he went back to grab one of his teammates sticks as well. Brooklyn trying to close the gap here again. Martino, Martino gets the shot away, trying to look down low on the one hop, but Jamison up to the task. Dilks. Dilks holding on to it. He'll just leave it back and go off for a change. Bounds pass. Sam LeClaire on the far side, or rather that is McIntosh. It's going to be intercepted, though, and Trent Boyd is going to come down the court. Still with it. Up for Pfeiffer, but that one's going to go over the center line, and it's going to be Chiefs ball here. The LC coach is not liking that one. That's a wasted opportunity if you're Brooklyn. Back to five aside. Of course, off of that power play goal, it's nine to seven. Here's Cole. Off the bench was Silver. And now a shot stopped by DeMood. And Brooklyn will get the ball back here. And that's going to be a key for this last just under nine minutes to go in the third period, Daryl. You just cannot waste any opportunities here in such a close game. Well, and that's the thing, right? Then, yeah, it's a two-goal game. And two goal games are nothing in lacrosse. Five on the shot clock. They have to get it away. They get the shot stopped by Jamison. And a fresh shot clock here for Brooklyn. There's a shot off the goal post. That one off a, that one off a defender's uh, glove. And hit Dougie Jamison, I think. Well, it's just a fortuitous bounce, as the, my buddy Corey Smith would say. And it's Pfeiffer. Inside, down low, shot just goes underneath and goes wide. Brad Cree will pick it up here for Six Nations. Cree's got a goal in this game. Better move, not to press. Just trying to settle things down. Under eight minutes to go here in the third. Jackson on the near side. Jackson twisting around, trying to dump it in close, but Good scoop intercept by Keeley. Keeley rushing up the court on a break. Keeley, shot, stopped by Jamison, and Keeley gets knocked down by Bell. That was a heck of a hit by Tyson Bell. Bell oh will leave it back here for Silver. Oh boy, did he ever run him over. That's twice he's done it. <laughs> Just simply run someone over. You don't mess with him, folks, that is for sure. That's a good block by Trent Boyd. Not the biggest dude in the world, but man, he hits like a Mack truck. Boyd, shot, stopped by Jamison, rebound. It's gonna result in a loose ball, and Boyd is gonna pick it up here for Brooklyn. I do enjoy their jerseys, Brooklyn. It's very simple, you got the cursive writing. Oh, I know. With the rebrand, they did a great, uh, Brad MacArthur and the, the, the board with BLC did a really great job with their rebrand a, a few years ago. Their logos look really, they're, they're pretty they're pretty darn clean, that's for sure. Pretty snazzy indeed. And again, all, all hats off to our friends at Uncommon Fit, who've uh, outfitted every team in MSL this season. I think they've got every team now, I think. And they've done a fantastic job. Jackson, eight seconds on the shot clock, shot stopped by DeMood. Scooped up here by Six Nations though. Fennell, Fennell moving in, but he's just gonna leave it back. I'm not sure if our friends at Uncommon have Brampton, but they've got everybody else. Every, every jersey's been fresh this year. Shot by Jackson right into the netting of goaltender DeMood, and he is just gonna sky this one all the way down, but it's gonna be intercepted. Trying the long play, but Kevin Hill comes up with it. And Hill, he's just gonna leave it back. Hill, 5.45 remaining here in the third. It's back over, McIntosh inside, outside, oh, he's and just missed the top corner. And now a shot down low, and good protection down at the bottom of the net by DeMood. Lane Smith going airborne as well. Certainly not, uh, certainly putting the foot down on the pedal. 
they're not uh, they're not stopping right now the six nations chiefs yeah it's a very close one here nine seven make it nine eight for good, good reason ripper by brady kiernan brady kiernan just a world-class player and oh what a he just ripped that one you can hear it from up here that just whistled and he put the he put a ton of mustard on that one and you can hear it hit the mesh Nothing to analyze on that. He just muscled that one by Tuggy Jameson. That was just a beaut shot. Through traffic as well. Oh, I love watching Brady Cannon play. He's just one of those guys. He's just one of those guys. He's not flashy, but boy, does he get the job done. You know, Nick the Mood here going to the bench. Yeah, make it six. A little while. Oh, just some, just some H2O. A little water break. Dougie Jamison doing the same thing down to the other side. Yeah, these goalies have been working hard. They've been facing a lot of rubber here tonight. It's just great to do, you know what I mean? Uh, they, these guys are world, they really are world-class athletes. You gotta stay hydrated. Brady Kiernan coming into tonight's game with just a goal and two helpers. Well, he's, he's got two goals game. and one helper here tonight. Yeah, this is the second game of the season, so. And again, he was an impact player in that first game uh, in his, in his uh, 2023 MSL debut uh, last week in that win. Shot by Pfeiffer, stopped, rebound on. And taking the body there, Jacob Martino going down into the crease as he tried to get that last shot away. It's Fennell will just leave it here. Scanlon passes it back. Scanlon with it here again. Scanlon over to the far side. Trying to find Fennell. He'll get it here off the bounce. Fennell, good back pass over, and the shot clock will just expire. On that far side, of course, that was Shane Jackson on that opportunity, number 32 on the far side. Just couldn't get the shot away in time. is Boyden. Back for Pilcher. Keenan shot. That one goes down low and wide and into the rafters. Cole will move it up here for Six Nations. Up by just one here. Take some physicality there and that ball is going to be knocked loose and on the run here. Trying to find some room with it was Carson Kearney but he was unable to just get in front of it. Pfeiffer. You know, the way he's playing, they're gonna have to replace that nameplate very soon. Oh, no, tell me about it. Make him a permanent member of this team. Oh, he's been fantastic for this BLC team. Five on the shot clock. Good intercept, though, by Bell. Bell and I. charging up the floor. Bell waits. Oh, Still with the oh, fake that was and pretty. takes a shot. Oh, Tyson Bell. And then he tried to run someone over. Had but some mitts. <laughs> some mitts to him. That was silky. And he has a word with the entire Brooklyn bench on his way back. The official had to pull him out of the way. Not a shocker. Still a 98 game. A beauty here at the ILA. He just pulled the wool over everybody's eyes on that one. Kiernan passed the, that one over. Shot by Pilcher goes wide. The shot clock will expire and Six Nations has it here. Logan leaves it back for Cole. 2.30 remaining here in the third. Six Nations nine, Brooklyn eight. Six Nations looking for some insurance. Here's Eric Fennell. Fennell inside for Cole. Shot stopped by Demood. Fennell has it on the rebound. A fresh shot clock here for Six Nations. A much needed extra 30 seconds. Leclerc will leave it back here for McIntosh to Fennell. Fennell, and I think they're just more content to kill off some time and take I advantage so. of any opportunity that they have handed to them. Pass that back shot, that one goes just wide, and a bouncer's gonna come back the other way. On the run is 
to Jury, or to Gurry. Leaves it back for Boyden. It's been a great game, Mark. Yes, it has. Demood looking toward the bench. He's not on it just yet. He's looked like he was inching towards it. But Brooklyn, good ball movement here. They try to tie the game and into the crease goes Luke Pilcher as he tried to get one by Dougie Jamison. Pilcher, Pilcher and Kiernan out there. They look for those two guys. We got a bit of a break in the action. Take an opportunity to wish everybody tomorrow. Of course, tomorrow is National Indigenous Day. Na National Indigenous Peoples Day. Yep. Lots of celebrations here on Six Nations tomorrow. Solidarity Day celebrations. It should be a, a, a really good time uh, at the recreational complex. Uh, there's going to be some rides, lots of food, uh, live music. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be there taking some pictures, doing my thing. Should be a should be a good time. Uh, the community. It's a great a great opportunity for the community to get together and, and celebrate Solidarity Day. Yeah, June 21st, always known for being the longest day of the year when it comes to sunlight here in Ontario. Summer solstice. That's right. We are into the summertime officially tomorrow. A minute left here in regulation. Nine eight. Still the score. Shot. Oh. It looked like Jackson actually was looking for the pass, but. I was in Halifax on the weekend, man. Was it good? Ontario's hot. I, I I never realized it until I until you get out and go around. We were in Halifax on the weekend. And yeah, but you also get the chills from the ocean too. Oh man, it you was, get that ocean breeze going did, through you. I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared, but that's okay. It was a fun time. Uh, might have to make a trip and uh, in the winter months to watch the Thunderbirds and a lot of the Chiefs, uh, a lot of the guys in MSL play. It might be a, would be a pretty fun road trip, that's for sure. Maybe not a road trip flight. I don't know. <laughs> you might be able to drive it. I have. I've done it. I've done it. Did it? Did it a couple times, I think. I think I did it twice one summer. I don't know why. I played in the ball tournament. Then went on a vacation. Pretty fun. Yeah, there's nothing like a good road trip. Well, you got the mute. To. Oh, yeah. Away you go. That's all I did. I, That's all you need. The, 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 the wife was uh, was still in Halifax, so I had to fly out Friday <laughs> late and. Uh yeah, that's all he did. Listen to some music, fell asleep, woke up, and it was back in Toronto. So, 53.4 seconds remaining here. Goaltender Demood is on the bench, and moving up the floor is Jacob Martino. By the way, someone. I was somewhere and someone actually said, is that a Chiefs hat you're wearing? Out in Halifax, I loved it. Brooklyn looking to tie the game. Bouncing ball is going to be scooped up here by the Chiefs. Brought up here on the run is Liam LeClaire. LeClaire looking, and he's going to have to wait as DeMood moved back into the crease. 21 seconds remaining. Not really much of a shot clock anymore. The Chiefs just looking to kill off some time. Fennell holding on to it still. 10 seconds left, rips a shot just wide. Bouncing ball is gonna come back. Six seconds left here, yeah. this is a big... Big opportunity here, Brooklyn looking to tie the game. That's a shot that's not gonna get through. That is gonna do it, folks. This game is over. Big fist bump from Dougie Jamison to Brad Cree there, right at the end. And that was all that you did. <laughs> Brad Cree labeled the body on that ball, sacrificed himself for the block on that last shot of the game. Six Nations wins it 9-8 to eight to improve to 7-1 and one on the season. Brooklyn will fall to 2-3 and three on the year. The story of this game, of course, looking for who was going to produce the offense. Of course, for Six Nations, they got three goals and a helper. I want to say four and a helper from Ben McIntosh. Yeah. Shane Jackson gets two goals and two helpers. Eric Fennell gets on the board with a goal and three helpers. And those, and those were the, all around. Yeah, those were the guys that we were looking for. And again, Shane Jackson was brought in a couple of weeks ago by Dwayne Jacobs, and, and he that's the reason why he Dewey brought him in. So 
you know what, the guys that they brought in to add that depth to that core group, uh, it paid off in spades tonight. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Jacob Martino's game. One goal, five helpers on the night. Luke Pilcher and Brady Kiernan both with two goals and a helper. But both of these teams will be back in action this week. Of course, Brooklyn is hosting Coburg tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Six Nations, well, they get to take on Peterborough next on Thursday in Good the Lift Lock City. 8 o'clock is the start time for that one. We'll be back here next no, it's not going to be next Tuesday. It's going to be two Tuesdays from tonight, July, July 4th. 4th, with Brampton coming back into town. Again, that will be an 8 o'clock start. So again, Six Nations 9, Brooklyn 8, your final score here from the ILA. For Daryl Smart, for everybody putting us on, on the air here on Rogers TV, my name is Mark Perry saying good night from the Iroquois Lacrosse Arena.